What's cracking all my people? YouTube, podcast. I have the podcast up, so go check that out. Link in the description if you want to listen to me rather than see me. Des Bryant just got released by the Cowboys. This was like 30 minutes ago. I wanted to get something up for you guys. Just so happened that on my uh, Instagram post last week, I, I pick a bust each week. And I basically just like talk about why I think they're going to bust. Des Bryant happened to be my guy last week. Busty Friday. I wanted to get something quick out to you guys. This isn't going to be too in-depth or anything, but just kind of recycle what I put in my post last week for Des Bryant and the reason I thought he was gonna bust in 2018 prior to getting released by the Cowboys. So I'm gonna talk about how bad he was last year. I'm gonna talk about possible landing spots for him in 2018 now that he's a free agent. He was going off the board, pick 53 overall, wide receiver 23 in fantasy. I argued that even though it was in the 50s, it was still too early. Des, 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 Des. The tail of the tape is you know part of it. The numbers are another part of it. There's a lot of things not to like about Dez and what's happened over the last few years. Let's see. So last year, his catch percentage, 52.9%. He caught 69 of 131 targets, ranks him 62nd among 67 qualified wide receivers last year in the NFL. Catch percentage, eh. Now, a lot of this is per other sources. This is per Graham Barfield on Twitter, who I highly suggest that you follow, at Graham Barfield. He just kind of put up a thread the other day just destroying Dez and just destroying any possible credibility arguments that people had. So, per Pro Football Focus, Dez Bryant has averaged 1.47 yards per route run from 2015 to 2017. So, the last three seasons, basically, after averaging 1.93 from 2010 to 2014, the wide receiver average is 1.6. So yards per route run is a very telling stat for not only NFL, but fantasy purposes. Um, the better wide receivers are always guys like Antonio Brown, D-Hop, Julio Jones are always in the top of the category of yards per route run. Des Bryant, 1.47 over the last three seasons. The average is 1.6. In 2010 to 2014, he was at 1.9. Last year, we're looking at Dak Prescott's QB rating when throwing to Des Bryant was 71. When throwing to Terrence Williams, it was 73. Dak was better at throwing to Terrence Williams than he was to Des Bryant. Eee. And per Matt Harmon of NFL.com, Des Bryant posted 10th percentile scores. So in the bottom 10%, meaning 90% of NFL players posted better than Des in man and press coverage at the line of scrimmage. So his success rate was in the bottom 10%. That means like you look at Dez, right? He's a big dude, he's a bully, right? That's how he wins, that's how he plays. Cause at the age he is now, I think he's 30, possibly turning 30 or 31 or something. He's not gonna beat you with speed, right? And he's not going to quick break, like quick break off the line of scrimmage to kill you. If he can't beat man and press coverage, that's a huge problem. A lot of his fantasy production comes from touchdowns because he got so many goal line looks and red zone looks last year. So if you can't depend on that, Dez is going to be a very, very poor option uh, as a fantasy wide receiver. So he was bottom 10% in man and press coverages. 2017, this is per NFL next gen stats. So uh, next gen stats, they put a, actually put a chip in the player's shoulder pads or it was a helmet or shoulder pads, but they're starting to track like really crazy numbers. Um, his game speed was well, well below average. I'm not really sure what this means, but it was a ne negative 13.6 index speed. And you look back the last few years prior to last year, it was like a like, plus 10.6. His game speed, I'm just saying he, he dropped off in terms of game speed. He's not playing at, at a quick enough pace as he had been during his successful seasons. What else do we got here? His catch rate between five and 15 yards where most of his targets occurred was well below average. Turns 30 in November. His prime is well past him, guys. So the Saints would have been a good spot if they didn't sign Cameron Meredith. You could look at the Panthers. That would be interesting if he goes with Cam. The 49ers would be a very, very good spot as well because they have Marquise Goodwin, who's like a deep threat. They missed out on Allen Robinson, obviously. They have Pierre Garçon, who's the slot guy. And now they, they would have a, an end zone or possession kind of guy in Des Bryant. So he doesn't need to have the overwhelming number of targets in an offense. Like he's going to struggle as a number one now, now that he's not great about uh, getting off the line. His speed is not there anymore. His catch percentage is terrible. He's not going to be put into an offense where they need him to be that like elite de prime Des wide receiver. He's not that guy anymore. So put him in the Niners offense where they have a ground game. They have two other legitimate weapons along with George Kittle. who's going to break out this year and Des would probably prosper there. I'm thinking of who, like where else could he possibly go? Where do you guys think Des would be a good fit? Because I'm interested to hear. Either way, I think 
people need to lay off him, or they did at least when he was on the Cowboys. Now is he's probably going to go somewhere where there's other players there, and he's not going to need to be the wide receiver one, so his ADP is going to drop pretty ferociously. But I just wanted to get something out there and let you know that I'm not high on Dez regardless of where he goes. Should be interesting to see, though. I'm excited for this free agency, and I'm excited for this draft. Let me know your thoughts. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And again, you can subscribe to the podcast, which is just BDGE fantasy football. I'll link it right down below. I got the top 10 QB rankings video coming out. It's today, Friday. So either Saturday or Sunday, I'm going to drop it. So stay tuned for that.